Good morning, Facebook friends. That is a real bad angle on me. I'm gonna have to sit up, slouch a bit. I hope everybody is good and well. I've got a special guest this Friday again. Oh my goodness me. Do you know how privileged you are to be on my Facebook, Alexandra? Do you, Do you know how privileged you are to have me on your Facebook? Please. <laughs> so, I hope everybody has had an awesome week and you're getting ready for the weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, I am gonna ask my lovely lady, Assistant, glamorous assistant. I'm gonna ask my glamorous assistant du, 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 a few du, du, questions, du. okay? Sorry about the bad hairdo today, guys. Oh, jeez. I am, I am I am off on a surprise trip to Alicante for Turkish food and therefore did not get my hair done. And my apologies for having a good hair day today, guys. But oh, um, I can see Jess Miller saying hello. Hello, Jess Miller. Hi, Hope you're doing well. So, I am gonna ask Alexandra three questions, okay? Three questions. I so, tried to think what I'm gonna be asked. So, when I first met Alexandra 11 years ago, okay, I'd be a kind of guy who can't cope with negative energy. Coming into my space, coming into my life, she used to come home from her job, and she used to... There you go. She used to moan and groan about... Hey, we come back, connection. She used to moan and groan about everything. I thought this is a five minute video, hurry up, And it man. used to do my head in. And I said to her, I said to her, you need to quit your job if this is what it does to you and you need to go and do your own thing because you're very talented. And you're, what was your reaction to that? Well, apart from mass hedging, um, Scott was one of those people that I would call either an idealist or naive or just 21 years old when I was 31 years old. So lacking a little life experience and I was like, are you for real? I have a mortgage. I have responsibilities, I have um, a, a job which I'd worked very hard to get, to land, to do well at. I also had a boss who didn't particularly like me, was involved in lots of office politics. Um, you know, the, 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 job was, the job was a millstone round the neck. I was tied to the job for all the wrong reasons. But when he said, you need to quit your job and start your own business, go write a book. I was like, are you for real? You don't even live on the same planet as me. I completely dismissed the idea. I thought he was an absolute lunatic, didn't I? I just thought you were nuts. So anyway, nuts. so after that, we, she, a year about eight months later, Scotty got through to her, Mr. Naive, as she liked to call me, got through to her, and we went traveling for a few years. I played rugby, which- Well, no, you came home one day and you said, I've got, um, I can, I've got a rugby contract in Ireland, um, and I want to take you guys with me, and uh, I quit my job within five weeks. Yeah. I don't quite know how you did that. I think it was because you said you would have a better life and a safer life and a, and a, live in a safer area and, you know. So yeah, so we emigrated after our first year, and then we did a bit of traveling around New Zealand, we lived around there for a bit, and Alexandra's mentality was that, because we were going to Ireland and then we're going on to New Zealand, that she didn't really need to get a job. From, she could take a year out, I, we could afford Scott to. Scott was earning, Scott was providing, and he said you don't have to go to work. You can um, take, and plus the job that I had lined up fell through. The, the recession hit, and he said don't worry. And while we were in New Zealand, we had major, major financial problems. Again, the work that was promised for me. This was 10 him, years ago, yeah. 10 years ago, fell through. Um, and we had some savings to provide. We had our mother-in-law helped us out. My, my mum and dad sent me birthday money. Um, and then we hit our uppers. It was cheaper to buy fish and chips and live off them than eat real food. And that ain't healthy. But we still have lots of and food. I had to go out and, and bootstrap. I actually bootstrapped. I taught English and Hungarians. Yeah, did cleaning, and I actually became self-employed by mistake, and it was brilliant. So and anyway, I survived. I survived. I didn't die. So after <laughs> after a year and a half, this is like nine years ago now. So after a year and a half of some good travels, some you good. You should slow down before you go out of signal totally. Some good fun. We. Um, so basically, cut a long story short, we get home. And, we, and, and it was a said, greasy cafe, we, I remember it was a real greasy cafe. And I said to Alexandra, yeah. I said to her, right, now you've had all your fun, you've done all your traveling, now it's about time you got back to what you wanted to do and get a job. And I looked at him as if he was insane, naive, and completely detached from reality, and said, are you for real? I never want to work another day in my life. And I, I thought, completely don't want to be owned by the man. I want to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, 
on my terms. I want to travel, I want to see the world, I want to be there when my kids get home from school. I absolutely cannot go back to work. I am completely unemployable. I will open my mouth, I will speak when I think things are wrong, and I I am better than doing than, than going back and doing what I've always done and I don't want to play safe anymore. And do you know and what? And he looked at me like I mission was bad. A, mission accomplished. <laughs> And so, that's it. I never worked uh, for anybody else ever since I've set up my own businesses. We've run several events company. We've run a very successful fair trade company before it plummeted into the earth. Uh, we ran a, um, we ran a, oh, murder mystery. Um, and then we joined Sensi and I decided I wanted to be all in with Sensi. I wanted to do one thing and do it well. So, so there you go. So, there you so, go. So, Scared I, to leave work? Third question. Don't do minutes. it. <laughs> Third question, okay? So, yes. From the very first question when I asked you that, to you need to slow down because it's definitely going to go out of signal. From the very first question very to the last question, yeah. was it worth it? Oh my goodness, yeah, completely. Why? Your top three tips why it was worth it. Top three reasons why it's worth it. Uh, we live our life on our on our own say so do what i want when i want i've been able to um have another baby and raise her and be there for all of the outstanding moments and i'm not owned by anybody and you have I'm a just... nice boss me no i have a nice boss me no me no um we've just been able to travel and we're seeing the world and we're living life i think that's it I'm not living life in the spare moments between my 40 to 50 to 60 hour, hour a week. It's job. like our problems at the minute um, are. And, and that, it, that is huge. And I don't want to sound forgetting. I'm not being forgetting. I'm just being honest. Our problems are at the minute we can't decide if to go to Asia, if we go to Turkey. Seriously, that is a shameless, Europe. horrible brag. Wait, there we go. I didn't turn him off because he was naughty then with what he said. But um, no, I just, you know, it's amazing how when life gives you opportunities, like we had the opportunity to move to Ireland and trigger the process of letting go of having a normal life and you know go to university get a job I don't oh, know go no. to college get a job do all the average things um, well, not average it doesn't make you a bad person no it's but it is, it is it is it is you know when I grew up it was socially acceptable to go to university my family it's 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 what we do we go to school get a do well at school, behave, and go to university. When Alexandra's mom didn't realize that um, I didn't have a university degree, she was like, oh my God. But yeah, but he's way smarter than me in many ways, so. Did she just say that? I did say that, he is way smarter. But no, I mean, that's what, you know, that's what um, their generations would have done and what a lot of my generation would have done. Um, and, and the next generation come out with 50, 60,000 pounds worth of debt no way to pay it off never use their degree and are years behind the kids that go out and just start working at 16. you know seriously the world is screwed up and and um my parents would have been horrified that i did direct sales in the beginning i know they would have thought it was a pyramid scheme and now i know they're very proud of the business we've built so you know what just be your own person if life gives you an opportunity to become self-employed take it it is scary but it's so worth it and you will work incredibly hard it's only scary for me it's but it's so cool because it's yours and no one can take it away from you and i think of all the things that is the biggest no one can take it away from you my boss cannot fire me anymore sometimes in life you just got to stick it to the man stick it right to the man go self-employed if you don't like your job look for ways out there are ways i know there's lots of ways. So there you go. That's our video. Hello, everybody. We love you all. You have to scroll down now and say hello to Oh, you Matthew hello. can't hear us. And um, hi, Shona. And um, hi, Melissa. Hi, bro, says Polo. We're breaking up a bit. I'm sorry if we broke up. But there you go. That's um, God bless, says somebody. Oh, Lau. Lau Pau to our patina. To be, I, I am so sorry we cannot say your name properly, but when we meet you in Melbourne, we will have lessons. We got Lua Peppa. Lua Peepa. Lua Peepa, Lua Peppa. Shona, stick it to the man. You have stick a great sense of business. You're a great leader. Man. Everybody loves you. And we, no, can, we can help you stick it to the man. You should. Hello, tomorrow. Okay, guys, we're going to get going before we get cut off, but 
That was that was the tale of. Um, that was the five minute video which went on for fifteen. Minutes. I know. We're terrible. Hasta luego. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.